Nato CBS 4 News exclusive, and it's one that we promise you you won't forget, you won't soon forget. Remember when we told you about the Hollywood man who found an iguana, a big iguana, in his toilet? Well, who could forget? It's happening <laughs> to even more people in one Hollywood neighborhood. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has the story that will have you looking twice before you go. Oh my God. It just keeps happening. Unwelcome creatures in the toilet greeting unsuspecting people when they're most vulnerable. I saw that tail swirling around and it was, I'm like, okay, that is not supposed to be there. Michelle Bennett got the shock of a lifetime Monday morning when she got up at 5 a.m. and found a spiny tail iguana hanging out in her toilet. I lifted the seat up and I saw the tail and I threw it back down. So then I start flushing the toilet, <laughs> trying to flush it out and it wouldn't flush out. One thing was on her mind. What would have happened had she not noticed? What my vision was that suppose I just came into the bathroom, I didn't turn the light on, and I just sat on my toilet. That is a terrifying prospect. That's what crossed my mind. I said, I said my grandmother, my, my angels were there because they said, no child, turn your light on and put your glasses on so you can see what you're doing. Shot. Trapper Harold Rondan raced to the rescue using what he calls the stick trick. He puts a stick in the toilet, waits a bit, and the iguana crawls out. I'm standing behind so I don't scare him. Out it comes, no injuries, just the scare of a lifetime. Rondan tells us he gets this kind of call about 10 times a month. And there's one thing in common. Hollywood to me is the birth ground for these things. I don't know what it is. As soon as she called me and she told me it was in the toilet, I didn't have to look. I said, you're in Hollywood. She's like, how do you know? Rondan says there's lots of spiny-tailed iguanas in Hollywood. In fact, we did a story just last month. They're known to be aggressive and carry disease. This one is actually going to bite and do a death roll. It's taking flesh from you. This thing has 16 rows of spikes on its tail all around. As soon as you grab it, it's gonna spin and slice your hand wide open. Rondan believes the iguanas get in through vent tubes on the roof. So how do you keep them out? And that's what I did to cap it off. Cover it with wire mesh. That should stop anything from crawling down and settling in the most popular seat in the house. So here's the best advice with your toilet seat, just keep the lid closed. And if you find something in there, don't try and get it out yourself. Call the professionals. In Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS4 News.